Hello, today I would like to show you quite interesting screwdriver that I've got from a junkyard. It's made by Black and Decker company and it's called the Pivot Driver. And it's quite an interesting thing because you can you can have a lock over here and if you press it you can pivot this part and it interlock in that position so it gives you a better access or you can lock it in this position and as you can see you've got a straight screwdriver so yes it's quite interesting and as you can see it's working and that's because i fixed it but i'm showing you this because it's quite interesting so here we can adjust the force i was missing this on my trusty Bosch screwdrivers as you can see i've got two of them and the most interesting part so yeah this is how it looks like nothing like a crazy that you wouldn't see there is a model number and here inside you put a cell and this is quite interesting cell because they are called versa pack and this one cell i believe holds a uh, three d cells d sub cells and give you a voltage of 3.6 volt and as you can see there is a charger for them and it have a two slot and that's because of a very interesting feature because depending of device like this screwdriver do not require a high voltage or high voltage so you can put only one cell but here we've got a electric drill that can hold two of them or maybe yeah it looks like two or maybe maybe three i'm not sure yeah maybe that's a bit holder so looks like uh, two cells into one device here is a screwdriver very similar and you'll just slide it so yeah this is a quite interesting thing that of course they are obsolete i'm not sure if you can still buy them uh, genuine new and i do not have any any other tools using this type of battery so for me the fix was putting a lithium ion cell because 3.6 volts is exactly what this device is using so i and screw it you have to remove this this not cap but the plastic element that's hold it together and i stick a cell inside i drill a hole and i add that uh, charging socket and in between of the drill and charging socket i add a polyfuse this is uh, too high rating but i use a, i believe i use a five or six amp which will be enough they are self resetting in case something major happen then they are going to protect you and this is the connector that i'm always using of this device and i do not have it yeah this is the type of plug and go right here and i've got a very cheap usb to this type of socket charger it costs like one dollar and i'm charging every of this screwdriver so yeah this is how it looks like i do not put a pcm protection you might ask me why that is a, a bad idea to not put a protection icon is discharge on the lithium ion cell and the why i do not put it because the they do not have a locking switch so they are only a momentary and that's mean you cannot 
left this and attended and discharged to zero. If I'm going to unscrew something and I go to a moment when this is basically stopping or going very slow, you, you cannot drain this to zero. If it will have like the two volts, then this device will stop working and you, you cannot. I'm using this over here from over 10 years without a protection and I never get any problem. If I see the force is very low, then I, uh, I, I just charge it. There is no way that you are going to left it working like this and drain to absolutely zero overnight. Like you can make in the flashlight. So this is why I do not put a PCM or protection. So yes, very nice finding. I'm very happy. Looks cool. And maybe, maybe replace the wash in some cases when I would like to have a force adjustment. So yeah, here you go. The pivot drive using the VersaPack battery. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.